morning. It is Thursday, June 22nd, day 99 on the trail. <coughs> As you can hear, it's still raining off and on. I'm just getting ready to leave uh, Sam Moore shelter where I pulled up last night. This is about a 15.2, 15.3 mile day, something like that. I, I just couldn't push on to Bear Den Hostel. I was, I was toast. I was ready. It was raining. My feet were tired sore. I was soaked to the bone. And so I was able to string my hammock up inside the shelter. There was only one other occupant in the shelter. Uh, Brooke was here <clears throat> and she, she agreed to let me do that. And we waited for a while to see if anyone else would show up. Gap was in a tent over on the other side here. And uh, after about seven or 7.30, we said, yeah, okay, we'll string it up. So I, Found a way to rig my hammock up inside the shelter, which was really nice. Didn't have to put up my tarp and carry a wet tarp today. There was another hiker, <coughs> um, Fancy, I found out her name was today. Uh, they came in last night after 9 o'clock uh, with the headlamp. I could see the headlamp going, and, and uh, so she hiked a 30-plus mile day yesterday, I found out. She's going to try and push on into Harper's Ferry today, which is 23. I'm not going to do that. I'm only going to go about 14 to the next uh, shelter, some, somebody's memorial shelter. That'll still be enough. I've got six six big climbs, and major climbs anyway, of the roller coaster left to do. Uh, that'll be enough for me. And then we'll uh, we'll just pull up at the shelter tonight and go into Harper's Ferry tomorrow. Um, it's kind of a cold, miserable way to start the day. Not the most fun. Chance of rain is supposed to diminish throughout the day, but then pick up again tonight. So we'll see what that, <coughs> excuse me, see what that means. So I have this lingering cough um, from my, my head cold. Uh, I can't seem to quite shake that. But I've been sucking on some cough drops now and then, and, and hopefully that will abate it for a while anyway. Uh, it's time to get rolling. Closing in on 9 o'clock, it's about 10 to 9. A late start today, but uh, I wanted to wait for the rain to kind of let up. And I was just taking my time. You know, it's not it's not a great fun way to start the day, pulling on wet clothes and you know, trying to get ready. But uh, it's the way it is on the trail once in a while. So looking forward to a hostel probably in two days. Um, not tonight, but tomorrow night. Hopefully uh, after Harper's Ferry, there's one just, just off the trail, just beyond Harper's Ferry. So we'll see if we can make that and, and then uh, get showered and get stuff dried out and, and be on our way again. All right, <clears throat> that's it for the start to today. Um, we'll <clears throat> take a couple of pictures before I leave and then uh, get cruising. Got some more uphills to go today. Uh, Virginia roller coaster is, is no joke. Some, po some folks are saying, you know, it's not as bad as you think <laughs> for a 69 year old. Yeah, it's just as bad as, as what people say. And Brooke, uh, who was in her early 40s, said the same thing. It was tough for her, too. Maybe the 20 and 30-year-old crowd, for them, it's, you know, a piece of cake. But, you know, you get older, it's, it's, it's a little more challenging. So <clears throat> the rocks and the climb take a toll. All right. Good enough, good enough for now. Uh, uh, this is Patriarch pushing on.
is the rather socked in view from Raven Rocks. It's my next to the last ascent in the Virginia roller coaster. Get a little bit more climb on this mountain and down and then one more climb and I'll be out. Thank goodness. These are hard. on the trail. Yeah, black raspberry. Yum. Picked a bunch of them back on the trail a little bit. Excellent.